Hi, grade 12 students. Our study today is about implicit differentiation. When we do the implicit differentiation, when we cannot write the function y equal, if you have y equal f of x, you can do the, the, the division, the derivative directly. However, if uh, it's not written of the form y equal, we must do it as implicit differentiation. Let us take examples, but before, if you want to find dy over dx, it means derivative of y with respect to a variable x. In that case, derivative of y is y prime. You all know derivative of y is y prime. You take y as like in chain rule, u power. If you, for example, if you have u power n, derivative of u power n is n u prime u n minus 1. So derivative of y power n will be n y prime uh, y n minus 1. Anytime you find difficulties, think about y as u in the chain rule so derivative of y prime is y prime however since the variable is x derivative of x prime is one let us take example <coughs> suppose y equal to x square minus three cosine x minus two here we do it directly y prime you all know for x uh, plus three sine x so no need to 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 explain anything it's basic derivative however here we cannot write y is equal y equal to a variable of a, a function of x since y, you have cosine y here, you have y, you cannot write it. So if I want to derive it, I do it as implicit differentiation. I start 2y squared, like 2u power 2 in chain rule. u power n is n, u prime u n minus 1. So derivative of 2y squared, so 2 times 2 is 4. y, don't forget to put y prime. And derivative of x cubed is 9x squared, as you all know. Here, it's like cosine u. Derivative of cosine u is minus u prime sine u. So it will be minus 2u prime sine y, and derivative of 3 is 0. Now to find y prime, I would put y prime on as a factor. You have 4y minus 2 sine y. You take the minus 9x squared to the other side, then it will be this that ratio, this one over that one. <coughs> Sorry. Suppose here I want to de de derive it. Uh, same story. This is of the form a times b. First of all, u prime v plus v prime u. Derivative of x is 1, so you have 2 times 1 times y. Derivative of y is y prime times 2x. Here, u times v, you put minus. Derivative of x cubed, 9x squared times y squared. Minus derivative of y squared is 6x cubed y, y prime. Because y squared is 2y, y prime times, minus, uh, times 3x cubed. And derivative here, it's also of the form u times v. Derivative of 5x is 5 times sine y. And derivative of sine y, like sine u, is u prime, in y prime, cosine y into 5x. And derivative of radical y, like radical u, u prime over 2 radical u. So it will be y prime over 2 radical u. And derivative of 4 is 0. So I put y prime on a side. So here y prime into 2x. Here you have a plus 6x cubed y. Here you have y prime, so you write it 5x cosine y. Here you have y prime, you bring it to that side. And everything with that y prime to the other side, minus 2y, minus 5 sine y, plus 9x squared y squared, it will be this ratio over that one. Okay, another example, derivative of x is 1. Tangent u is of the form u prime secant square u, as you all know. Derivative of y is y prime. Derivative of 3x is a 3. This is u times v. u prime v plus v prime u. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of y is, uh, sorry, times y plus x times derivative of y is y prime secant square xy minus y prime equal to 3. I expand now. You're going to get y secant square xy plus xy prime secant square xy. Then I put y prime in factor. Here you have uh, y prime and here you have y prime so you have this factor and everything to the other side 3 minus 1 will be 2 you take this to the other side so it will be this one over that one another example here i want to find dz over dt you must know like dy over d uh, dx dz it means derivative of z is z prime but derivative of t is 1 so i want to do the derivative here uh, 2z squared like 2u squared, so 4u u prime, 4z z prime. Here u times v, derivative of t is 1, so 3z. Derivative of z, z prime times a 3t. Here like sine u, u prime cosine u, z prime cosine z. And derivative of cosine is psi, minus sine, so plus sine t. And derivative of 5 is 0. I put z prime in factor for this one and that one. And this one here. And everything to the other side. And you find the ratio. 
He write the equation of tangent. So we, we must do implicit because you cannot write y equal. So derivative of y square is 2yy prime of x square is 2x. y4, 4y cube y prime minus 2. So uh, at the point minus 2, 1. So what do I do now? We replace every x by minus 2. So here I replace this x by minus 2. And every y here and here by 1, I get this, in, uh, exam, uh, this uh, equation where y prime is minus 1 and equation of tangent. So you know y minus ya equal ya is 1. So equal derivative, which is minus 1, into x minus x of a, which is x plus 2. Now I want to go to derivative implicit differentiation of second order in second derivative. So first, of, uh, let us do the here the second uh, implicit differentiation of second order. First, I find the first derivative like I did up. Derivative of x squared is 2x. 2y squared is 4yy prime. 2y prime here. So I put y prime, 3x is a 3. I put y prime on one side and, and as a factor. So you have 4y minus 2, and I bring this 2x to the other side. So this is y prime. Now I want to do a second derivative of this one. This is of the form u over b. u prime derivative of 2x plus 3 is 2 into 2 minus 4y. Derivative minus derivative of 2 minus 4y is minus 4y prime into 2x plus 3 over denominator square. To finish, I need to, I have this y prime I must get rid of because I want to find y double prime with respect to x and y. So I have the y prime here. So I replace this y prime just here, as you can see here. I replace it as it is. Okay, you can do same denominator or you can keep it depend on your, uh, for me, it's okay if you keep it like this or you continue by doing same denominator and you bring it then down so it will be y cube. Last example, suppose I want to do the second derivative, same story. So first of all, derivative of x, y, derivative of x is one times y, derivative of y is y prime times x, derivative of y squared two y, y prime, here it's sine uh, x squared. So derivative u prime cosine u. So I put y prime uh, as a factor. You, you have here x and here you have two y, you bring y to the other side, you have this one. Now to finish, I need to find second derivative, implicit of second order. This is of the form u over d. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of 2y is uh, 2y prime times denominator minus derivative of y here is y prime. This is u times v, but I don't have y. So derivative of 2x is 2 times cosine x squared minus derivative uh, of cosine x squared. It's minus. So that's why I have the minus here, because cosine. Derivative of x squared is 2x sine x squared, and you have this 2x again, times numerator over denominator squared. Remains, I have this y prime and that y prime. So I replace at the end this y prime here, and I replace it here. So it's, it's going to be a, compli a complicated example. So enough to say I replace y prime, this y prime by its value here in that equation. I hope that you got and understood the implicit differentiation of first order and second order. See you on Monday in school.